Welcome back. To get started with C++ development within Unreal Engine, we will install Microsoft's Visual Studio IDE. Other options include JetBrains C-Line IDE or Xcode if you're on OSX. The Visual Studio Community Edition has full functionality for what is needed with Unreal Engine C++ development. During setup, select C++ Desktop Development, Mobile Development, Game Development, and Linux Development. This will give you all the tools for developing and building your game for the different platforms Unreal Engine supports. Once installed, allow a reboot of your system, and once rebooted, start Visual Studio and select the initial configurations and preferences. You can always modify these later in Tools and Options menu. Once we've verified Visual Studio is properly installed, we can relaunch UE4 via the Epic Games Launcher, and we'll create our first new C++ project. You may be prompted to install the latest .NET framework. And once installed, you can relaunch UE4's project creation and select a C++ project. Unreal Engine will now use your latest installed toolchain via Visual Studio to build the Unreal Engine solution. If you open Visual Studio and see a load failure of the source code, simply close out of Visual Studio and within the UE4 editor go to File, Open Visual Studio. You can also use the Refresh Visual Studio option. Once properly reloaded, we can now see the source code for our basic starter project. To create a new C++ class, hop back into the UE4 editor and within the Content Browser, right click and select New C++ Class. For our example, we'll create a new character class. Once created, you'll have the skeleton of the character class to which we can then customize. With development of C++, you'll want to run the UE4 editor from Visual Studio. To do so, we'll launch via the local Windows debugger. Now, if your project build target is not properly set up, you'll receive an error that UE4EXE cannot be found. In order to fix this, we'll right-click on our project solution, then set startup projects, and set your single startup project to your active project. Next, we'll launch UE4 via the local Windows debugger. This time, you should see Visual Studio properly build and launch the UE4 editor. Launching and running the editor via Visual Studio gives us additional benefits such as the diagnostic tools and debugging if our perfectly written bug-free code crashes. Finally, Visual Studio's IntelliSense is known for struggling with the immense size of the projects that UE4 creates. Two great products that you can add to your workflow are ReSharper C++ by JetBrains or Visual Assist by Whole Tomato Software. The biggest improvement that both of these offer over IntelliSense is the faster code searching and code indexing. This offers a vastly improved auto-completion experience compared to the built-in IntelliSense. Ultimately, both are great tools and come down to your personal preference as well as your price range. Now, go forth and develop.